Now listen, listen, listen. Morrowind is a great game. I have a ton of fun playing Morrowind when I do play it once in a blue moon. The base game, the DLCs, everything about Morrowind is crisp. Seeing my Eek wear a Colovian hat and standing still is where this mofo originates, so how could I possibly hate the game that brings in my character that I use on all my videos and stuff? But of course, like Arena, like Daggerfall, like Oblivion and Skyrim, and even Battlespire, Redguard and so I have to shit on these games somewhat. I love this franchise with every fibre being of my body if you haven't guessed by now so I think after doing YouTube on this specific franchise for 4 nearly 5 years I have the permission of all of you perfect folk to harass the game just a little. But if you're one of those Morrowind players, guy or girl who just talks about Morrowind being the best Elder Scrolls game in the franchise then I have two bits of advice. 1. Get out of 2002 and 2. Get out of your room. But without much else being said, let's just start knocking this game out with some points while I play Morrowind in the background, like a great human being for you because I can. If you liked this video, remember to leave a like and if you don't dislike, I don't really care, I just love you all. Now, let's talk about the problems with The Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind. Now, let's just get this horse in the room right out there. Morrowind is an old, very old game and it's going to turn off a lot of people when they see the graphics for this video game. It is from the very early 2000s. I don't know what most people expect when they turn on Morrowind. I can see how for its time it might have been amazing, but not today. Oh god, not today. From the stanky stick in the butt animations to the facial animations being just straight up nasty. They look like puppets. I, I myself found it hard to to look past these types of graphic but thankfully I am a man of the original Age of Empires and games as such so I can stick old graphics but I can see how this would stunt people back a bit from fully enjoying the game. It did to me of course like all old games do as graphics continue to progress and get much better and better as the years go on. You can see it in today's graphics they're fantastic and probably for the time this was what we think of like the Witcher and Cyberpunk and stuff today but thankfully you have some things like the Morrowind modding community which is absolutely incredible and still does get some mods sometimes as people do still play the game a lot. So if you want to, with a bit of effort, you can improve all that beautiful stuff. Just look up some of the YouTube tutorials and revamping and changing your Morrowind to be updated in uh, 2018 or whatever year you're watching this. If not, well then I guess you won't ever leave much further than Sadanin because the graphics will get onto you like a bear in the woods. So you're better off playing Skyrim because Oblivion ain't much better to be honest in this category. If you do not like reading, and I mean you're just not a fan of it, not that you're stupid and you can't read, just, well, if you can't read as well, of course, uh, but in this day and age, that is fairly normal with a lot of the youth, since we have all the computers and stuff, but, like, if you go into Morrowind and you don't like reading, then, boy, oh boy, you will absolutely detest this game because you have to read, and when I say you have to read, I mean it, you have to read. There is, like, a handful of voice dialogues throughout the game, and it's only at very specific times during big quests and stuff like the cinematic at the beginning nor when they got Ur talks at the end and stuff like that. Outside of that, everything is done by text and text and text and just so much text. Now, I personally love to read, have since I was really young, so this wasn't hard for me, but when you're playing a video game, you don't really want to read as much as Morrowind wants you to. I do like reading Skyrim's books and Oblivion's when I'm traveling sometimes when I just want to rest and stuff and get out of the combat. And all that stuff, but thankfully Bethesda Game Studio seeing this as a problem in the future, and that's why everyone has voices now, which is significantly better in my opinion. I'd rather a handful of voice actors on a bunch of characters than no voice actors at all. Also, with Morrowind, everyone had the same handful of topics to say and constant repeat. This is obviously to do with dialogue, but I kind of seen this hand in hand in the game since they're both one and the same thing. The only thing distinguishing most people from one another in Morrowind was the merchants with a couple of topic options, and the people included quests who gave you quests and etc etc. Everyone else can be asked the exact same thing so when the so-called Morrowind veterans try and explain that this is a better system they are very very wrong because everybody says the same stuff so yeah how is how is that better I don't know.
Now, my real trope with this game has to be what I can only describe as one of the most tedious combat systems that I have ever indulged in ever. Whoever thought the 1 in 6 system was better for the game needs to rethink his life choices, while whoever changed it for Oblivion needs to get a raise because hot damn is it an annoying mechanic for new players and players of the current generation. A lot of Morrowind is hard to understand at the beginning without a guide of some sort to send you in the right direction, so a lot of people would miss how the combat works properly because how many people really hover over and read each skill? That's not a thing they include anymore in the games because it wasn't used by a lot of players. A lot of these guys who are veterans saying that, oh this is the best thing just throwing you in, it's not. If you don't know how to play a game, you're probably not going to play it. That's just the way it is. Very few people like that. A lot of gamers want to just play their game, the point of the game and the money they spend on it. Now once you progress a bit into the game, and raise your stamina a lot, you will hit the target 95% of the time, but otherwise if you don't, you will just be swinging and swinging and swinging, and it's just so tedious. The same goes for archery, it's all under the same category, it just ends up being a headache, which again Bethesda obviously thought too since they completely changed and revamped the system for the future games, but believe it or not, Morrowind veterans, the so called veterans, will tell you otherwise, and that my friends brings us on to the next point. Now, listen, I am a fan of Morrowind, a Morrowind fan, whatever you want to call it. My friends are Morrowind fans, the friends who like the Elder Scrolls series. Most of you watching are Morrowind fans, have heard of Morrowind, seen a bit of it, maybe just not played it, etc, etc. But then we have the next category, the elitist category, the Morrowind fanboys. Thankfully, most of you aren't in this category from just knowing my comment section and the streams and all that, and thankfully you aren't the worst person person in the world if you are a Morrowind fanboy. No, uh, Fallout New Vegas fanboys take that spot and are worse than that. We stay away from that onslaught of degenerates. They, there's no talking to them. You're better off talking to your television when it's like broken because yeah. Morrowind fanboys will try and convince you that Morrowind is the best game in the Elder Scrolls series and that you should be playing that and not Skyrim because they know what's best for the series and they know what they're talking about and they played the Elder Scrolls in its prime and yeah, yeah, yeah. Well guys, if you encounter one of these wild beasts, uh, hit high tail and run. You don't stand a chance. As I said, you'd be better off trying to convince the brick wall next to you. Cement, uh, the air, oxygen itself uh, it could create a brain faster than it would be to convince these guys uh, that uh, you have your own opinion. These guys are mostly plagued with nostalgia, and I mean it because between the combat, the terrible directions, the lack of any sort of fast traveling or anything, it's just nasty. If anybody ever tells you Skyrim is easy and uh, you're a casual player for playing it, tell them to fuck off because they're probably a Morrowind casual which to be honest I'd rather be labeled a Skyrim fanboy than a Morrowind fanboy in this day and age. At least then I'm not as fucking ancient as the sun. But yeah don't you worry I don't think you're casual for not thinking Morrowind is the most incredible game in the world. No that's just people with an elitist mindset and that's usually a simple mindset. It was these people who made me originally dislike Morrowind a bit but then I realized it's not the game's fault it's the parents fault and we can't all be perfect and we just have to accept that uh, Skyrim is probably the best game. Morrowind is a great game and I have a hell of a lot of fun playing it. I have a hell of a lot of fun playing any of the Elder Scrolls games. It's fun to read and learn about the lore of the worlds and the stories and they're decent enough and it was a kickstart into the 3D world for the Elder Scrolls and I love Morrowind for that. We wouldn't have Oblivion and Skyrim without Morrowind. The game is fantastic for its time but ultimately Oblivion and Skyrim are superior in every way due to two simple things. Bethesda Game Studios got better at making games and graphics and gameplay mechanics have updated in today's standards. If you are in the midst of writing a comment to insult me or already have, I want you to know if you got triggered by this then you really need to reevaluate your life. But life is uh, tough like that. There's a reason Bethesda have re-released Skyrim so much, guys. Um, spoiler alert, it's because it's the best sold one. I know. Absolutely shocking. I wouldn't have believed it if I didn't see it for myself. Uh, but unfortunately, reality's a bitch. But yeah, that's it for this. I do really 
really love Morrowind, and I love everyone in general. I just think elitist opinions of any sort are dumb as hell, and people can like what they want. You should accept that not everyone's going to think Morrowind's great. That's if even any Morrowind elitists watch this. I don't really find many of them on my comments, which is kind of nice. I like the Skyrim fan base. They're, uh, they're a nice, loving breed of people, and the Oblivion is the same. Morrowind fanboys, I, I see people who like Morrowind, but the Morrowind fanboys that I'm talking about, I don't I don't see them a whole lot on my comments, which I, I'm, I'm kind of okay with. You know what? I'm kind of okay with it. But nothing's wrong with nostalgia, of course. I'm very nostalgic about a lot of things that in today's standards would be seen as the same thing, outdated and stuff. But you shouldn't try and force your opinion. But if you do have some time and some spare cash, pick up this game. Trust me, if you like really old style RPGs with D&D style mechanics and a lot of stats, you will like Morrowind. Get over the clunky UI, the stupid amount of uh, text, the lack of interesting dialogue and boom, you have a decent game. But a lot of today's fans are plagued in nostalgia, unfortunately, in a bad way. So, oh well, what can you do? But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this and uh, leave a comment on what you all thought about this video. Did you enjoy playing Morrowind when you tried it out? Are you a big Morrowind fan? What do you think? Are you going to pick it up in the future? What's the story? I don't know. Let me know. But as always, I hope you have a great day, week, month or year and I will see you guys next time.